Sugar beets have seen tons of changes over the years, and luckily, these changes have been super helpful to farmers. You see, when the sugar beets were first grown in Alberta, there was only one kind of seed available, a multi-germ seed. This means that for every one seed planted, five or six sugar beets would grow from it. Now that might sound great, but in reality, it wasn't good at all. Sugar beets need to be spaced out evenly so that they have room to grow. So how did farmers fix this problem? They would walk up and down the fields using a hoe to chop up the extra sugar beets. They would do this until there was only one plant every six inches. But this was no easy task. Every single field is 160 acres, which is the same size as 40 city blocks. Beet seeds are now planted in rows 18 to 24 inches apart. If four plants have to be hoed out every six inches, then that means over 27 million plants would have to be chopped from every field. Could you imagine walking up and down a field all day long in the hot sun, swinging a hoe back and forth? But finally, in 1957, a new type of seed became available. With monogerm, only one plant grew from each seed. So now farmers didn't have to thin the crop out anymore. But that didn't mean the hoeing days were over. No, farmers still had to spray the crops to kill the weeds. But at that time, the only chemicals they had were extremely expensive and extremely strong. In fact, they were so strong that they would hurt the beets too and cause leaves to yellow or wither. So the farmers would spray small amounts, trying not to damage their crop. But that meant some weeds would still escape. So now, farmers would still have to hoe the fields. Only this time, they'd be chopping up all the weeds. Finally, in 2005, a genetically modified sugar beet variety became available. What made these sugar beets different is that the seed had been genetically engineered through the use of biotechnology to allow the plant to be resistant to glyphosate, which is a common and safer herbicide. That means farmers can spray glyphosate on their crops and it won't hurt the sugar beets at all. The plant continues to grow strong and healthy while the weeds die. And farmers don't have to spray as much anymore. With the old method, they would have to spray their crop four times every year. But with the genetically modified seed, they only need to spray one to two times a year. This new seed helps farmers be more sustainable. They are now able to use safer chemicals with lower toxicity rates, less fuel and less labor. I think it's safe to say that those days of hoeing sugar beet fields won't be missed.